I believe they're asking for, can you solve for x to find the angles of this triangle? So. Yeah, um, you can take that one. So I am just drawing a triangle really quick. Um, so what do we got here? We got one angle is 4x plus 10. Got another angle that's 3x. Got another angle that is 4x plus 5. Um, this is something I teach quite a bit in geometry, and it is a concept that a lot of students struggle with, and I think it has a fair amount to do with not having a full understanding of what we're doing when we use algebra. Um, so what we're looking at here is what we're really trying to do is trying to relate the inside, the interior angles of the triangle to things that we know about angles of a triangle, which is that they all add up to 180 degrees. Um, if I drew another triangle, I think it's sometimes, let me move this over a little bit, I think it's sometimes helpful to like think about a simpler example that you know that you could probably do off the top of your head and break it down algebraically and then apply it to another concept. So I'm going to give you a quick example. If I just drew this triangle and I gave you these numbers, I know this angle is 50 degrees. I know what this one is, let's call it, I don't know, 70 degrees. How would I find this angle right here? Um, and so a lot of times what my students do is they just say, well, I know they add up to 180, so let me just do 180 minus 70 minus 50, and then you get, what, 60 degrees. That's all like well and fine, um, but the problem with that is you can't really apply it to a problem that's a little bit more complex like we have over here. Um, so what I encourage my students to do is, especially on these simpler problems, um, is to always write an algebraic equation because then you start to see the relationship and you start to uh, I don't know, get the hang of it in something that's a little less intimidating. So what I always tell my students is, look, if you've got an angle there, you're not sure what it is, what do we always use when we don't know what something is in math? A variable. So I just throw a letter in here. You can choose X. Becca, you could choose B if you want to use it for your name. You could pick S. It doesn't really <coughs> matter. X is just like the most common one used. And all we're saying is that all three of these angles, here, here, and here, they have to add up to 180 degrees. That's just a property that we know about triangles. So without overthinking it, I often just say, look, just add, like, plug these angles in. 50 plus 70 plus, and if you don't know this, then, you know, write what you're using for your variable. So 50 plus 70 plus x, and we know that all of these added together have to equal 180 degrees. Um, so by doing that, we were able to uh, solve from here and get 50 plus 70 is 120, and then plus x equals 180, and we subtract and we get x equals 60. So that is a more straightforward um, <coughs> solution than what you have over here, but if you think about it, um, it is the exact same concept, just with kind of more going on, if you want to think about it like that. We're still saying all three of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So all we need to do then is say 3x plus 4x plus 10 plus 4x plus 5. Right? All this is, let me put these in parentheses to make it a little bit more clear. All that it is is really these three angles added together. And again, you got some expressions, so it looks more complicated, but the process is exactly the same. And we know that these should add up to 180 degrees. So from here, we just have an algebraic expression that we need to simplify and then solve. So we have 3x, we have 4x, and we have 4x. Um, all we're going to do is add those up, and I get 7x, I get 11x plus, and then I'm going to combine these other like terms plus 15 equals 180 degrees. Uh, and then again, you just have an algebraic expression. So I'm subtracting 15, subtracting 15 equals 165, um, which is what? 15? Is that right? Mm. I can't remember that off the top of my head this time. Uh, 165 yeah. divided by 11? 15. Yeah. So that is the value of x. 
And again, all we did is we kind of combined what we know about algebra with what we know about you know, geometric properties of certain polygons or figures and created a, an equation and solved. Um, I did want to point out one other thing really quickly. Be careful when you're seeing these problems because sometimes the problem will say, um, it might say find x, in which case, there it is. You're done. Or what some people do is they're like, oh, there it is. There's x. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I see that hilarious joke. It's um, so funny. It is Never been funny, done yeah. before. Uh, or it might say find the missing angles. And in this case, you haven't actually found the missing angles. You've just found mm. that, that kind of variable that relates all the angles. So if it says find missing angles, you have to take this value of x and plug it in, right? So in this case, it would be 4 times 4 plus 10 is 26. Mm, 4 times 15. Oh, where did I get the 4 from? I don't know. Yeah, the number is just sticking in my head. I was like, 26 doesn't sound right, but um, yeah, 4 times 15, so that'd be 70. Yeah. And you could do that with all of them, and a good way to check your answer here is that once you've figured out all your angles, they should add up to 180 degrees, unless you made a mistake. Yeah, no, that is a great way to check your answer, too. Yeah. Always find a way to check if you can.